From the very beginning, bow hunting has been etched deep into our DNA. We know what it means to have the fire of archery burning inside. We know the heart-pounding anticipation of waiting for that monster buck. We share the breathtaking excitement when we hear elk bugles in the mountains. We're a band of brothers and sisters who share the passion. Just like you, it drives us. We're born to bow hunt. everybody and welcome to this week's show. This week we're doing some boat fishing. We're boat fishing with Harley Outdoors founder Ben Steiger. We're out here having a good time busting some carp. I'm Heath Painter and this is Born to Bow Hunt. Well I'll talk to you about the gear we're using today. It's uh, This is the Tribe Triton Pro bow fishing kit. Fully composite bow from Tribe Archery. This bow comes with a bow fishing arrow, string, and a drum reel. Uh, for just over 100 bucks, this kit uh, is affordable, uh, but more importantly, this thing is so durable. Uh, composite limbs, you can take this thing, throw it down, throw it up against rocks, throw it in your boat. Uh, this thing is tough, it's durable. If for some reason something did happen to the limbs, it's a three piece takedown, take the limbs out, you can replace them for about 35 bucks slap them in and you're ready to rock again but the tribe triton pro like i said is built on the big game hunter platform fully composite about 45 pounds this bad boy is ready to rock i'm really excited about today uh, we're at the world headquarters for heart of the outdoors it's a christian outreach ministry uh, ben and i have spent a lot of time in the woods together we spent a lot of times in the field uh, he's got a lot to say about it let's see what he's got to say about the headquarters here at heart of the outdoors so heart of the outdoors is a nonprofit ministry that's focused on revealing the undeniable evidence of god's glory through his creation uh, we get to do all kinds of outdoor related activities uh, create models for to serve as a tool and a resource for the church and uh, one of those ministries that we have is called His Pens Archery. It's been awesome to be able to partner with Tribe, Heath Painter, uh, through this endeavor of bringing archery to people around the country and around the world. Uh, over the last three years here locally we've taught 30,000 youth the sport of archery and we've started over 15 archery clubs uh, here locally. We're now in six different countries with an additional 15 clubs. Uh, and God just continues to go before us and open the door. And people like, uh, like Heath Painter and Tribe Archery come alongside us and partner providing us with the tools, being the bows, uh, to accomplish what we're doing. Tribe Archery knows the importance of having top-end performance bows for all draw lengths. That's why we're so excited to release the new short draw bows for this year, the Epic and the Extreme. Introducing the Epic, this bow is built for serious huntresses that are set on making their own marks of field. Don't let this good looking bow fool you. The Epic's power will deliver the knockout punch in any environment. The fast, quiet, and powerful Epic will help you write your own stories from the field and will ignite your hunters within the Extreme. When you're ready to take on anything that comes your way, the Extreme is the bow for you. This small frame bow packs a serious punch and delivers the power needed to drive arrows deep into the action. The Extreme's aggressor cam speed, super quiet performance, and energy make these bows a force not to be reckoned with. Tribe Archery short draw specs. Draw weights 40, 50, and 60 pounds. Speed 310 feet per second at 28 inches at 60 pounds. Draw lengths 23 to 28 inches, axle to axle 30 inches, brace height 6 inches. With these two winning short draw bows, Tribe Archery has the power packing punch for younger shooters, hunters, and huntresses that will keep up with the excitement. Here at Tribe Archery, adventure is guaranteed. Tribe Archery is releasing the bow you've been asking for, the Zeus. When performance and real stability count, the Zeus is the platform you're looking for. This smooth drawing bow is extremely quiet with no vibration and has a double draw system that creates a solid back wall. The long riser technology 
seven inch brace height, competition grip, and the aggressor cam are just a few features that makes the Zeus an optimal target bow. A long hunting platform or perfect for finger shooters. The Zeus has long riser technology, 36 inch riser, competition grip, pre-stretched strings and cables, dual stabilizer mounting, aggressor cam with limb contact draw stop and cable stop, Tech Flex performance limbs, Zeus's specs, draw weights, 50, 60, and 70 pounds. Draw lengths, 26 to 32.5 inches. Brace height, seven inches. Axle to axle, 36 to 37 inches. Effective let off, 75%. Mass weight of 4.5 pounds. IBO speed, 325 feet per second. Watch the Tribe Zeus step up to the shooting line and pound those X-rings. This is a serious target and long axle to axle hunting bow you've been looking for. Here's one right here. Ah! This is kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> I've shot them before with this arrow. And no string. <laughs> and a week later I saw my arrow swimming through the water. <laughs> Oh snap, this is awesome. Dang, third time's gonna be a charm. Come on. She only got that big one right there. Come on. There we go, got him. Yeah, buddy. Cut her done. Not the biggest one. Third, third time was a charm. Hey, it's bow fishing season, and here at Tribe Archery, we're pumped about getting into the action. Don't have a bow fishing bow? We've got you covered with the Triton Pro. We also have bow fishing kits, bows, strings, arrows, and reels. We've got everything you need to get into extreme bow fishing action. Right here at Tribe Archery. Buckle up and dive in. I'm Heath Painter. Shoot straight and be safe. And we'll see you out on the water. Having the right gear is essential to perform at your maximum. Light, compact, and smooth, the Halo Extreme is your ticket to making the impossible shots in the tightest of quarters. This low profile parallel limb bow offers full-blown flexibility and maneuverability, making it ideal for every situation. From the tree stand to the ground blind, screaming fast speed and calibrated engineering will give you the power you need to harvest that buck of a lifetime. Halo Extreme features advanced limb harness system, machine 6061 T6 aluminum risers, competition grip, pre-stretched competition strings, Aggressor cam with limb contact draw stop. Cable cam stop on lower cam for solid back wall. Textflex performance limbs. Silencer package and string stop. Color options. Black, next gen, and Cryptek. Fast, balanced, and quiet, the Kinetic was born for one reason, to hunt and to hunt hard. The Kinetic is light enough to carry all day, but don't let that fool you. This aggressive performer has just enough weight to give you that stability at that moment of truth, and enough power to take down Godzilla. If you're serious about performance in the field, you'll want Tribe's Kinetic at your side. Kinetic features advanced limb harness system, 
machine 6061T6 aluminum risers, competition grip, pre-stretched string by Stone Mountain, aggressor cam with limb contact draw stops, cable cam stops on lower cam for solid back wall, Texflex performance limbs, silencer package and string stop, color options black, next gen, and Cryptex. We are Tribe Archery, and we know what it means to have the fire for archery burning inside. Driven by the quest that calls us into the field and up to the target, we're all about the journey. We don't just build a top of the line bows, we live for the pursuit of the perfect shot. Tribe is a band of brothers and sisters who share the passion for gaining the competitive edge. We know the heart pounding anticipation of waiting for that perfect buck while sitting in a tree stand and watch the leaves slowly drift to earth as the crows call in the background. And we know the race of your pulse when you step onto the shooting line and take aim at that X-ray. We share your love for adrenaline. Our Made in USA pride runs deep. We build our bows to match our determination to win. A balance of technology and performance that will help you perform at your maximum. Join us for the journey and the adventure. I'm Heath Painter. The first shot was out of that albino. I, I missed him. Dude, that's a lot of fun. I can see myself being down here at the creek a lot more often. But, uh, you know, you missed a couple times. You wonder how, how well it works, how the arrow actually sticks in, and uh, if the bow's strong enough or whatnot. And, you know, being used to shooting a bow at, at deer or big game, you know, you kind of wonder if, if the bow's strong enough. But, uh, dude, this thing stuck it right through it. No problem. It was accurate. Uh, it was my third attempt, but that was all uh, archer. Archer foul. A lot of fun. I'm going to try to do it again. One thing I like about bow fishing, a lot of times you got to sneak up on these carp. Folks, there's nothing like this. This is a, a just a good time uh, down here in the middle of the day. You know, bow fishing, you can do it early spring, do it late October. Uh, a lot of guys up in uh, Wisconsin, Minnesota, as soon as the ice breaks, they're, uh, they're on the rivers and streams and uh, shooting these carp. It's just a lot of fun. Um, actually, doing the uh, the environment is a lot of good. Uh, these carp, uh, they can overpopulate and uh, destroy a lot of the uh, game fish population. Here's a carp right here. Oh, right in front of his face. Oh my gosh, that's a big carp. Got it, yeah. Nice. Look at that. It's amazing, just, look at that. It's a nice size car. Look at that, I didn't even have to get my, uh, get my hands all stinky and nasty, but that was a great carp. Uh, got a little flay left of him. I don't think he'll be going too far, uh, but that was a good size carp. The refraction uh, of the light today is pretty amazing because I had to aim way low with that fish in order to uh, to get him uh, get him on an arrow. But uh, man, that's fun. That's good, clean redneck fun right there. Bow fishing. Ten gallon head. I'm gonna go after enough. those carp today. I'm gonna have some fun doing some bow fishing. Uh, this will be my second time doing it. The last time was a blast. Uh, doing it with my buddy Heath and Sam, and today Craig joins us, and uh, it'll be his first time 
bow fishing. So we'll see uh, see what we get into. Uh, now I'm not saying I'm like most guys, but if they're like me, and I believe most guys are, they don't just learn by hearing and not just by seeing, but they learn best by hearing, seeing, and doing. So Blood Brothers has been designed to engage men in a way that they hear, they see, and they do. So they meet once a month in these groups, braids for a group challenge, and then throughout the month they have an individual challenge. So a group challenge could be something like uh, paintball or canoe wars or archery tag or who knows, climbing a mountain, something like that. And the individual challenge could be reading a book, could be memorizing some scripture, uh, but it's all about helping individuals, helping men uh, develop ownership of their pursuit of Jesus Christ and move beyond desire. Desire is no more than a thought and our imagination. Right here. <laughs> it's amazing how deep you have to shoot. How much lower. Like I've always known you have to shoot low to get, get on these fish. But I can't believe how low you have to shoot. The light, the refraction is so intense. Here at Tribe Archery, you can say we're serious about bow hunting. And our bows are born to bow hunt. These balanced performance bows are built for the pursuit. Our traditional ILF bows will take on any challenge as a recurve or a long bow. The Halo and the X3 are machine risers that deliver the highest performance. Tribe's compound bows are ready for the adventure. New to the Tribe lineup is the Epic and the Extreme. These two bows are perfect for shorter draw bow hunters and is a serious platform for delivering the speed and the power needed to get the job done. When stability and speed is needed in a compact platform, the Halo Extreme is your bow. This bow fits perfectly into a ground blind or a tree stand. And once the bow is fired, the extreme quietness of the shot will surprise you. The Halo Extreme is silent and deadly. As bow hunters, we know the importance of power for penetration. Tribe's Kinetic delivers the punch. This hunting platform gives you both speed and stability for those nerve rattling moments we live for. And for hunters looking for longer to axle axle bows or finger shooters looking for that no pinch shooting experience, the Zeus Hunter is the bow for you. The 36 inch platform gives you the stability and forgiveness that will ensure your shots hit where you need them. If you're as serious about bow hunting and your hunting gear as we are, then you'll understand why our bows are born to bow hunt. But don't just take our word for it. Here's what a few of our tribe shooters have to say about shooting tribe. I'm Jeremy Myers and I just switched to tribe archery. This year I'm shooting the tribe kinetic. It's both super fast, super quiet, and super smooth. These bows were built with the bow hunter in mind. Tribe Archery's tagline is born to bow hunt, and that's exactly what these bows were designed to do. This year has been one of my best years to date. From the Whitetail Woods to the 3D range, my Tribe Archery Kinetic was in hand along the way. I was able to tag out this year in North Carolina and take first place in the North Carolina, Virginia dual state ASA qualifier, much due to having the unmatched performance of Tribe Archery in hand. These bows have every feature the serious archer needs in his arsenal. Smooth, fast, and accurate, Tribe Archery is born to bow hunt and built to win. I use my Tribe Kinetic because a few different reasons. They're made in the USA, right here in Ohio. It's lightweight, it, it's got a solid back wall on it. It's the best bow I think I've ever shot in my life. I use my Tribe Halo Extreme. It looks good and that's always important to the woman. It's compact, it's durable, um, it shoots smooth, it shoots fast. And that's why I shoot Tribe. Hello, my name is Matt Pendergast and I'm the owner of Hunting Down Outdoors. When I started to look for a new bow for my group and I this season, I was looking for a top end bow. The bow I had was only a year old, but I was looking for something different. Tribe has that bow. Smooth draw, nice valley, quiet. Several of us had the Tribe Kinetic and with its shorter axle axle length, it is a very versatile bow. We definitely think that Tribe compounds are built to win for the hunter 
and for hunting them down outdoors. This year, I was able to take my archery game to a whole new level. From the range to the field, my tribe archery bows helped me perform consistently. Tribe bows are built without compromise, pairing cutting edge engineering and commitment to deliver a superior experience. Tribe bows are born to bow hunt and built to win. If you're ready to kick it up a notch, come join the tribe. Hi guys, this is Todd from Hunt Down Outdoors. I just want to show you the bow that I shot this year. It's one of the sweetest shooting bows that I've ever shot. There's no pinch at all. I'm super happy with it. You talk about something being quiet, fast, and uh, extremely balanced. One thing I know for sure, my tribe is light, fast, and durable. It's built for the hunt. People ask me why I shoot tribe. They're fast, reliable, lightweight. We can shoot any bow on the market, but we choose to shoot tribe. I don't shoot a tribe bow just because they're smooth, accurate, agile, and fast. And in today's bow saturated market, there are many manufacturers who produce quality bows fit for the task. Although tribe bows are built for raw adventure and the abuse which entails, I shoot a tribe because what tribe archery represents. Tribe archery represents something so much more than fine quality and state-of-the-art engineering. They even represent more than just made in America. Tribe archery represents freedom which the company embraces by who they are, how they live, and what they do with what God has given them. They represent a tribe of hard-working men and women who get it done in the field. My name is Ben Steiger, and I am proud to be part of the tribe. Obviously, these guys and gals are excited about tribe archery. We take pride in delivering the best hunting bows possible, because like you, we live for the adventure and we're born to bow hunt. Hey, it's bow fishing season and here at Tribe Archery, we're pumped about getting into the action. Don't have a bow fishing bow? We've got you covered with the Triton Pro. We also have bow fishing kits, bows, strings, arrows, and reels. We've got everything you need to get into extreme bow fishing action. Right here at Tribe Archery, buckle up and dive in. I'm Heath Painter. Shoot straight and be safe. And we'll see you out on the water. Tribe Archery knows the importance of having top end performance bows for all draw lengths. That's why we're so excited to release the new short draw bows for this year, the Epic and the Extreme. Introducing the Epic, this bow is built for serious huntresses that are set on making their own marks of field. Don't let this good looking bow fool you. The Epic's power will deliver the knockout punch in any environment. The fast, quiet, and powerful Epic will help you write your own stories from the field and it will ignite your hunters within. The Extreme. When you're ready to take on anything that comes your way, the Extreme is the bow for you. This small frame bow packs a serious punch and delivers the power needed to drive arrows deep into the action. The Extreme's aggressor cam, speed, super quiet performance, and energy make these bows a force not to be reckoned with. Tribe Archery short draw specs. Draw weights, 40, 50, and 60 pounds. Speed, 310 feet per second at 28 inches at 60 pounds. Draw lengths, 23 to 28 inches. Axle to axle, 30 inches. Brace height, six inches. With these two winning short draw bows, Tribe Archery has the power packing punch for younger shooters, hunters, and huntresses that will keep up with the excitement. Here at Tribe Archery, adventure is guaranteed. See that one? There's something right there. Is it a carp or a bass? You see right here? That really helps. Dude, you killed that rock. <laughs> Way high. Um, I'm a Major League Baseball pitcher for the Washington Nationals. Uh, I went to the University of Dayton, played three, three years there. Got drafted in 2005, so I've been playing professional baseball for the last 10 years. Recently, you know, had a lot of off seasons to do some stuff in the winter and 
can't really golf in the winter, so I've uh, taken up some deer hunting and now I tried bow fishing for the first time. I've enjoyed it quite a bit. Heart of the Outdoors is uh, really poured into me. It's been a nice little ministry that I didn't expect coming and kind of just showed up on my front door and, and it's just great to be able to do one of my favorite hobbies, go deer hunting and, and then get to share with some people that are really top notch and have uh, helped me in my walk with Christ. I've just loved being in the outdoors, being able to have some quiet time to myself and just enjoy my own personal thoughts and my time with God and being able to say all my prayers and do a few readings along the way and you know the, the wonderful creation that we have, the sunshine and the leaves, the trees, the grass, all that stuff, if you look at the minute detail of it, you really see the power of God and, and you know that the God that we're worshiping is all powerful and uh, you know if He can shape an earth like this and He's living inside of us, uh, we can do anything. The cool thing about bow fishing is you can introduce people that have really have not done much hunting or uh, much archery into the sport. Uh, it's fast, it's fast paced, it's real enjoyable. We've got Sam Clark, he's my cameraman and producer, photographer with us today. He's doing some bow fishing for the first time and I tell you what, he is absolutely having a blast. He's not hitting much, but he's having a blast. I mean, I've never bow fished before, and I got to do it for the first time today. Uh, Heath taught me, and it was an absolute blast. I mean, I didn't hit anything, but I mean, the adrenaline rush was way up. The biggest surprise to me is where, when you had to aim at it, it had to be like a foot and a half under. I mean, I, I was thinking maybe a couple inches, but I mean, I'm, I'm assuming it was just how the light was hitting the water and uh, how deep they were. I think I'm going to have to get a bow for myself and uh, shoot some fish, uh, hopefully get one.